Ballard? Are you out of your mind? As we start season two, we see Jim, Florida is seeping into his bones, not that he'd ever admit it. He does starting to get a little bit of an affection for the place, although everything still is hitting him out of the blue. He still doesn't know a word of Spanish, even though he thinks he does. Oh, so you two know each other. What the hell are you doing here, Tim? Things amp up a little bit. There's a little bit more action. I get to be a bloke a little bit more and drive cars and and wave guns around and do some hand-to-hand. -hand. He still annoys the crap out of everyone, but, um, yeah, we, we get to flesh out the characters a bit more. That's weird. That's oh, weird. Things are still very complicated with the girl, and her husband is about to get out of prison. Someone from Jim's past comes back from Chicago. This person really meant something to Jim. I mean, it's, it comes down to that question, what, what happens if that one person that broke your heart what happens if they're back? Jim? He's not going to get the reactions that he needs for his instinct to kick in if they're comfortable. So almost instinctually, he will invade people's space. He'll get in their private space. He'll start moving their stuff around. He'll eat their food. Hands where I can see them. I'm alone and unarmed. Except for the dozen goons you got up the street, I'm guessing. Florida is the main character. Florida is the protagonist, the antagonist. The show's voice really found itself when you start putting homicides and murders around parts of Florida that we don't normally see. That's what the show does. The quirky side, the dark side, the, the you know, you start to find that Florida has this beautiful gloss, but you start scraping underneath it and there is this muck. Get down! Get down on the ground, now! Get down! Let me guess, all you guys got tickets to the gun show, huh? 